Sticky money fudgy. Fudge won't work, by the way. <laughs> it's the first fudge of the day, and I've only just come back from holiday, so it's very hard to <laughs> looks So you'll have to edit it. If you if we edit it, so, so it could be a, a caramel, and then there's a chocolate one. No, it's not going to be funny. <laughs> that would be funny. No. It might not, it'll work. I'll make it work. I'll use all my skills. I'll use all my fudge skills. Okay. I can actually give you the show. It's nice and quiet at the shop today. Can I tell you exactly what's happening? Uh, we do a process called creaming the fudge. I think if we were chocolatiers or it's slightly more pretentious, we'd call it tempering. But we're nice simple folks who call it creaming because it will make the fudge taste smooth and creamy. So by doing this, there are crystals of sugar inside the fudge, little crystals. But sugar is a rock, it's a little tiny rock or a crystal. And when you're folding it, and smashing it on top of each other, <coughs> those crystals are rubbing down, <coughs> and getting smaller and smaller, and we get a soft, smooth, creamy texture by kind of like compacting the sugar. So this whole thing is actually going to lose volume and get smaller. You won't be able to really notice it; it'll be microscopic. But we're forcing it into a denser. Go out and grab and make. Go out and grab something. Yeah. Um, a denser, smooth, creamy thing. I don't really understand the science, if I'm really honest. I make fudge for a living, so the science is a little bit beyond me. Um, David Acaster, uh, who is the comedian James Acaster's dad, he once explained it very well to me, um, but I was, uh, I was very tired at the time. The nice thing about making fudge is it's always a bit different. Everyone went, ah, they make it right. It's always a bit different. You uh, have to treat each fudge like it's a separate entity. Some have to go slow, some have to go hard, fast. You've got to listen to what the fudge tells you to do and relax. Empathy with the fudge. 
Why, boys are rubbish, Andrew. Yes, the first one always takes longer as well. There's no crust on the table. There's nothing to start. Uh, there's no rough. Marble's very smooth. So you need a bit of roughage on the table from the previous fudges. And so it takes a bit longer. Pardon? It takes a bit longer. It takes a bit longer, yeah. So it takes a bit longer. Yeah. Just, and the table's a little bit cooler, particularly today, as it seems to be Arctic weather. Now that we're in September, uh, it's decided to be minus a million. Just make the um, marble a little bit colder. I mean, I'll bring you some fudge to give it out to people. And it was like, I'm going to put you on social media. I was like, don't bother this. I'll give you fudge and just give me free booze. He went, yeah, no worries. So you get to go to an art gallery. The fudge will set or it won't set, uh, depending on how you boil it. And all I'm doing is guiding it along the path, right? I'm helping it to find its little where it wants to be. If I rush it, it won't work. If I don't rush it, it won't work. No worries, man. How long does it take? Long time. Uh, this is this is because of the first fudge, and also it's the change of season. Like when the weather changes, you'll have noticed. I can notice in you. I have taken three hours to make a raspberry before, but mainly because I was cold and I wanted something to do. So slowly, this process is called loafing, by the way. You missed it earlier. The other process were called creaming. Um, creaming makes the fudge creamy. Surprise. Is the ability to walk away. So, pretty good. But what else would you do, eh? There certainly wouldn't be fudge involved, would there? So now I'm just, we call it different things, shaping, I like to call it platting. We're kind of platting the fudge into a set loaf. Got to give it again. Just got to give it a breather. Work it too much, and keep the moisture in the fudge. Right, starting to get a little tearing going on in the fudge. What's that? It just means the sugar is starting to actually form crystals. Uh, it's a really nice thing. It means that my fudge is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, you can, tell you, you can see uh, how the different temperatures in the shop. So near the door, this is slightly, just the marble, ever so slightly cooler. So we've got slightly more tearing going on here, and here this is very glossy. That just means that this part of the table is, uh, you know, a night. But that's all right. As long as you know these things, you can plan ahead. All right, we are. I think um, this might be the last one. I think it might be samples time. So yeah, we get some nice little rips in this bit. It won't affect the fudge too much. <clears throat> Might try to go up this side once more. So think of fudge maker's folly. We always try to make it too neat. You go up once, but I think it's what I'm doing. Um, go up it because you want to look perfect. So do one side too many, but this actually nice little way. This. I see it's nice little rips there, this means this is done. Which means you get to try fudge. Warm. Did you, did you have tried fudge? Phew. Otherwise he would have to be fired for the next day. I won't get it down there. And this is for nothing, this just is a So yeah, it's just so I know it's a sea salt, really. Otherwise, everything in our counter is brown. <laughs> we know what it is. Come in, guys, how are you doing? Hello. Hello, how are you? Let's try, let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. This is, this is the, going to be the most famous fudge in the world. Uh, this gentleman is filming our fudge. Five gazillion people have watched this already. <laughs> Um, yeah. So this, that will go back in there. I'll give this to people as to samples. 
Well, that would be like a stop that we'll put in the next one. Which is the reason this one was so difficult, because I put too much of that in. And every single one of these slices weighs exactly 160 grams. Yes? No. <laughs> they weigh something like 140 to 160. I don't know. I just want to, I just cut something that looks like a nice piece of fudge. There's nothing to do that.